Welcome to Building a Map for Team Fortress 2, Episode 1, Accessing and Setting up Hammer. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to access Hammer and set it up to be able to map effectively for Team Fortress 2. Part 1, Accessing Hammer. To be able to access Hammer, you'll need to own a Valve game and have it installed. Games that have access to Hammer include CSS, CSGO, Half-Life 2, Portal, Left 4 Dead, and Team Fortress 2. In this tutorial, we will be using Valve's free-to-play shooter, Team Fortress 2, to access Hammer. If you don't already have Team Fortress 2 installed, you can get it from the free-to-play category within Steam. If you have Team Fortress 2 installed, we can now open up Hammer. To manually open Hammer, you'll need to go to your Program Files folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, Bin, where you'll run Hammer.exe. Doing so will open the Hammer World Editor tool. If you'd like to have a graphical launcher for Hammer, you can download the Team Fortress 2 SDK Launcher, a community tool created by Team Fortress 2 Maps forum member ICIs. Using this launcher replaces the old functions of the Source SDK Launcher and offers easy access to all Valve editing tools. You can download it by clicking on the annotation below. Part 2. Setting up Hammer. Now that you can launch Team Fortress 2, it is recommended that you install a Bajoom Snarks Ultimate Team Fortress 2 Resource Pack, a content pack for Hammer that greatly aids in the creation of maps for Team Fortress 2. The Ultimate Team Fortress 2 Resource Pack contains a game type library, many helpful prefabs, a soundscape library, and a number of GUI changes that greatly speed mapping. While you don't have to use this pack, it is highly recommended. To download the pack, click on the annotation below to go to the Team Fortress 2 Maps form thread where it is hosted. Now that you have downloaded the pack, run the executable and follow the prompts that appear. When finished, just run Hammer once, then you are good to go. You now know how to open Hammer and configure it to be able to map effectively for Team Fortress 2. If you have any questions or need any help, leave a comment down below. In the next episode, we will build our very first room.